Welcome to our next video, an introduction to Home Assistant automations. Automations are processes that allow Home Assistant to take certain actions when a particular action occurs. As an example, you could set your living room lights to come on every evening at 6pm. They can be as simple or as complex as you wish. Using conditions, you can apply decision logic to automation such as having lights come on very dim after 11pm if motion is detected in your hallway, avoiding waking the whole house up if someone is visiting the bathroom. To set up an automation, go to Settings, then Automations and Scenes. Click on Create Automation. For now, we'll start with an empty automation. You'll be brought to the new automation screen. This can look daunting, but we'll cover each of the sections. First, we need to name the automation. Give it a meaningful name so you know what it's for. In this case, we'll call it Cooling Fan. The mode refers to how to deal with multiple instances of the automation. For instance, it's been triggered twice in a very short time. Single mode means it will just run. We'll cover the others in a future video dealing with more complex automations. The link above gives an explanation in the manual. A trigger is an event that starts the automation, such as a particular time. There are a number of different types of trigger, but as we're relying on a sensor, we'll use device. In the device drop-down, scroll until you see the device you want, in this case the temperature sensor. The default action is normally selected in the trigger, in this case the temperature change. We can set parameters, in this case a minimum temperature in the above box. It'll automatically select the unit you're using. This is a simple automation, so we won't use a condition. For actions, we want to turn a fan on when it gets to the trigger temperature. This is a device, but again you can select a number of actions in the drop-down. Click on the device drop-down and pick the device you want to turn on. Action lists the things a device can do. Select Turn On Fan. When you're happy that the automation is correct, then you can click Save. This automation is now live and can be triggered. There are a couple of things we can use within this automation to assist with troubleshooting if it's not working. We can click Show Trace, which allows us to step through the automation steps. If you click Run Actions, it will run the action as if it was triggered. If you click on the back arrow, it will take you to the main automation screen. Here it will tell you when it last ran, you can run the actions too. The three icons to the right allow you to show information about the automation, debug the automation and edit the automation. With some automations that turn something on, you'll also need to create another one to turn it back off if another condition is met. In this case, when the temperature has dropped. Click Create Automation. We'll set this one up as before, but we'll call it Cooling Fan Off. The device is the temperature sensor, but this time we'll enter the temperature in the below box. Once again, no conditions. 
we're calling on the same device again. However, this time the action will be turn off fan. If you're happy with this, click save. It's probably a good idea to rename the earlier cooling fan automation to match what it does. Click the pencil icon to edit the automation. Change the name to cooling fan on. Tab or click away from the field and then select save. I'd recommend being as descriptive as you can with the title, as when you have more automations, it will help to know what it is for. You'll notice on the top of the screen there are four tabs. We're on the first, Automations. Scenes can be used to set one or more devices to a particular state, for instance a dim light or different colour, or a preset temperature for a thermostat. Scripts allow more complex automations where you may need to run a sequence of commands, for instance if you need to start devices in a particular order. Blueprints are pre-written automations that can be used as a template to create automations, scenes or scripts. You can import blueprints, this will take you to the Home Assistant forums where people have written some very useful blueprints and shared them. Home Assistant does come with some default blueprints, we're going to set up our next automation using one. Go back to Automations. Click on Create Automation. This time, in the Use Blueprint section, click on the drop down. Select Motion Activated Light. You'll now be taken to a new automation screen. Change the name, in this case, Office Light. In the Motion Sensor drop-down, select your Motion Sensor. In the Light section, click Choose Area, Device or Entity and pick the light you wish to control. Select a time period, this is how long the light will stay on after detection in seconds. Then click Save. You now have some basic automations and can create some simple actions. More videos covering automations, scenes and scripts is planned for the near future. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see something in particular. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to see more smart home videos, please subscribe. And if you have any ideas for future topics, please leave a comment below.